it's back in my garage. People have been asking me to play this. So let's uh, let's get started here by opening the door. Like any good mechanic, they want their neighbors to see what's going on. Um, so I think I've run into a bit of an issue. What is this? The game updated. Now there's a toilet? What's this toilet doing here? Collectible? What the heck? I. What? Why is there a toilet? <gasps> I want this. I'm going to put this right here. Chop toilet. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, we're keeping that. So here's my issue. I was looking here. If you remember from my last episode, I was pounding out this uh, trunk floor. And you see this gap? It won't pound anymore. And if you look here, the trans tunnel's all messed up. Like, it doesn't line up. And if you look here, there's a gap. And if you look here, there's no gap. So I think that uh, we're going to cut those out. Um at least I think I'm going to because I think it's it's I think it's just necessary at this point. But I can't remember where I put my grind. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's so my stuff so laying all over the place. So I'm gonna take this, pick this up. I'm gonna, okay, right there we go. Okay. So looking at the trunk floor, the trunk floor looks super easy to get out. So I'm not super concerned about the trunk floor coming out. Like just looking at this, it doesn't feel like I think the whole floor may have to come out. Unless it comes out here. Because that's the wheel well weld, right? So. You know what I got to do, actually? I'm going to do this. Let's go check the manual here. Ugh. Or not the manual, the, the sales guide. So, like, okay. So, I also need this uh, middle lip panel, but that can wait a second. Let's see. So, there's the trunk floor. I'm going to buy that. But it's that middle piece that... Like, here's where the, the trans tunnel and everything is, the floor middle. So I'm going to buy that as well. And we're going to we're gonna see, how much money do I have? $6,500 or $6,100. So, see, this is the piece I'm concerned about here. Um, and if you look up, it's just the trans tunnel and then, well, it's got to be flipped over. And then all the way back to this lip but i'm not sure entirely how to get that out unless i just unweld around or uncut the welds around here you know what? i'm just gonna start cutting what's what's the worst that can happen okay let's just see we need a new blade a disc too let's get this trunk out of here okay this is already needing a disc see this is the prop where are my discs they were here before are they under this oh there they are okay all right so we'll get a new disc we'll put that on these discs disappear so quickly. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think that's enough to get that panel out. There it is. All right, now we can get working on the, the front. Oh, it's it's a whoa! It's a thunderstorm. Let's go check this out. Whoa! This looks so cool. I like a good thunderstorm. All right, I'm such a dude. All right. <laughs> oh, oh. So, as you can see here, just even looking, like, look at this. That's all bent and shit. So, I'm going to cut that. Cut this. This. Oops, I didn't need to do that. All right, well. All right, so this is the old one, right? Yeah, okay. That's the old one. You can go over here, and then this is the old trunk floor, and you can go over here, because I don't want to confuse the two. Then we're going to stick this... What are you? I just... <sighs> the wheel well fell out. Um... <laughs> okay, that's cool. All right, let's get this up in here. Now, maybe it's the trans tunnel that's messed up. Yeah, it might be the trans tunnel that's messed up. And not... But yeah, but see how that's, like, that's lined up better now? I'm not as worried about the trans tunnel being messed up. Oh, God, what was that? It's because I'm walking on this wheel well. Give me this. Okay, come here. Okay, just get out of the way. You're a new wheel well. We need you. All right, so... I think that... Like, look at that. The whole... Tr you know what? You know what? Okay, we're just gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna uh, should I... Uh, you know what? I'm taking the trans tunnel out, too. Because reasons. All right, where's the trans tunnel cutting boards? Because this looks messed up as well, and so I'm just going to 
Hopefully it's not going to cause a problem and nothing else is going to fall out, but I'm going to I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to replace the trans tunnel, the rear floor. This whole thing is just it's just literally a new car at this point. Oh god. Oh well, you know, this is how projects go sometimes. I've ha I've had worse. All right, so trans tunnel that's going to go. This is going to go. That's going to go. And then that, right? Right. And then probably, I'm assuming this, this, and then the other sides will have to come out as well. Now let's get this new disc on there. All right, we're, we're making good progress. It's just, it's a lot of finickety work here. We'll take this out, this out, and then this, right? And that should drop the trans tunnel. Bam, okay. So the trans tunnel still has the parking brake attached, but we can remove that in a second. Um, we'll worry about that in a minute here. All right, so we got to order a trans tunnel. Um, let's see, do they sell that? I hope they do, because I need one. Let's see, trans tunnel, trans tunnel. I'm probably passing it by. I do that a lot when I'm going through things. So bo body, yeah, body. Oh, here we go, trans tunnel C. I think that's the one I need, because everything else has been C so far. All right, new trans tunnel. All right, okay. New, I said, pick it up, fool. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Stick this in here like this, and that lines up. Oh, it's not a whole lot better, actually, uh, but that's all right. Now we got new parts. That's all that really matters because we like new parts. Okay, look for all the welding points. I like that it shows you where you got to weld. That way you don't have to guess. Okay, there's that. Okay, this looks all... Decent. Okay, so this is good. All right, so that's in there. So let's, uh, I must have missed a weld on the, uh, that wheel well, because it just, like, fell out. Um, I'm going to put this trunk floor in, I think, and then we'll put the wheel well back in. Bam. All right, where's my welder? Okay, here it is. This thing I could lose so easily, but all you'd have to do is get the, uh, just walk away with the welder and it would reattach itself, so it's not the worst thing. All right, just go there for a second. We'll go get a new welding rod. Okay, this is why I like MIG welding. It just feeds in there. All right, here we go. I agree that TIG welding is probably better, but when you're doing this kind of crap. Okay, let's see. The gap is still there, so either this panel is bent. You know what? It's fine. You know, we got new ones now, and that's, that's great. That is great. All right, here we go. All nice and in there. All right, so let's get the, uh, the new... The new uh, middle section here we'll put this in here right under there bam we'll grab this put this up there all right this is going this is going swimmingly all right here we go you 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 new welding stick this is this is this is all this game is go back and forth grab your welding stick grab a new grab a new uh disc okay here we go oh oh, oh. No, i didn't do it i didn't do it okay right there all right let's do this some more okay up here Oh, God, I love car stuff. All right, that's good. All right, we're going to weld that in. All right, let's put the wheel well back in. Bam. Um, There. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You, you, and you. Oh, I got to get a whole new stick for one weld. Ugh. Give me you. Let's see here. One last weld here, and bam. All right, so I think I got to remove this handbrake from this, but we'll worry about that in a moment. I want to get a new middle panel and stick that on. Where's the middle panel? This rocker. Middle panel lip. Buy this. All right. So that's going to go on top. So we'll put that in. Okay, down. I think I might. Like, did you have to put a convertible top in this? Is this just like no convertible top um, at all? I don't know. Is it like a Shelby Cobra where you don't even get a... Ooh, okay. Where's, is it a welded piece? It's a welded piece, right? Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, look, I missed that weld there. Got to remember that. Okay, I'm not close enough to this. Get, watch it, welder. And this. There we go. That fixed that problem. Did I miss anything else here? No, I think we're good. All right, there we go. So basically, we've, re we've replaced the whole car. At this point, except that one door. So, oh, get out of the zoom. All right, so we're going to, let's see. Oh, yeah, let's get the uh, the parking brake off of this. 
I'm not sure how salvageable this parking brake is, but we might as well if we can. Is it bolted in underneath? Looks like it. All right, what is that, though? Oh, there we go. And then there should be one. All right, let's just drop this. Can I, can I get it from underneath, maybe? Got it. Okay. So that should remove the parking brake. Yep. Okay, there we go. Now I think it's time to clean up the shop a little bit. Because now that we got all the panels on, all this crap can go in the garbage. Um, All this bent metal and all this. And that way it's just not cluttering up my shop. So I'll throw this away and I'll get back to you uh, in one second here. Just give me, just give me a minute. It's a lot of junk. <laughs> all right. So I still got a ton of stuff laying around on the ground. Um... As you can see, but a lot of it has been like I just I just leave junk everywhere. That's that's kind of like my that's kind of like my calling card. So I think uh, let me think here. So I think I think I think what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Do I want to put what I want to do is is kind of move this forward a bit here. Just okay. Here I was like okay, just oh oh uh, okay. Are you still on something? Okay, yeah, you're still on stuff. Okay, so I think I think what the better bet would be is if we could get it rolling, that would be great. Because then we can worry about an engine, maybe. I'm not sure I'm going to keep this engine. I just put it over here for now. Okay, because everything here looks a bit haggard except the camshaft. So if we can get it on wheels, that means that we need all the suspension parts and all that. I think I'm going to ditch the, the stock springs and all that. Because um, there's high performance springs, I think. I think I saw those. Oh my god, dude, stop picking that up. There we go. So I'll leave these here for now. Um, but if you look at all the crap I have left here. Yeah, now you won't pick this up at all. Here we go. What's that? What's this? What are you? Oh, you're a tie rod. Okay, I thought you were a socket wrench. I was going to be like, oh, great. So, we need uh, upper control arms and lower control arms and hub carriers and all that. So, I think if we do, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to lift this up a little ways here. There we go. Get up to this kind of height here. A little higher than that, actually. I'm a tall guy. All right, get this up here. Let's see. Yeah, let's do the control arms first. We'll do that. I wonder if we can get everything else in after the control arms are in there. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, yeah, so this is suspension. So we need uh, blah, 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 blah. upper control arm. Oh, you can lift it or lower it. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So we're going to need this, 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 this this we're gonna need a couple of tie rods and shock absorbers right right so this okay because i think that means front at least i'm assuming all right so holy crap we got a lot of things here so let's uh Get the lower, this is the right lower control arm. That's good. All right. So where's the, okay, where is it? It's here somewhere. Is this the, yep. Oh, wait a minute. Yep. So here's the two lower control arms. We'll put those on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why won't you go on there? Is it because the jack's in the way, or the, the jack is in the way maybe? Or the, the thing? Okay, let's just uh, bring this down a little bit. Bring this down, and we'll move that back some. Okay. We'll just, uh, I think that's in the way, so we're just going to twist you to there, bring you in slightly, and we'll just go from there. All right, let's try that. I think I was just in the way, so it wasn't doing it properly. There we go. Okay, so we're going to lock those down. Where's my wrench? There it is. Perfect. All right, we should bring one of those tables over again for all this. Put that on, that in, that one, and that one. Okay. So now, 
I wonder if I can get the upper control arm in. What's this one? This is the left. Left upper control arm. I just didn't have it in the right spot. And then the right upper control arm. There we go. And we'll lock those down. I'm not sure if you have to put the spring in first, but we'll see. Alrighty. Okay, lock, lock this down. All right, that's locked in. Locked in. Locked in and locked in. All right. So now, ooh. Oh, God, I got a rear spring and a front. Okay. <laughs> I got to get I got to grab the wrong spring. All right, there we go. I wonder if I got to put it in with the spring compressor, maybe. All right, let's see here. Grab this. Oh, I had it. I saw it. Where is it going? There we go. Okay. Not bad, not bad. We got to get another front lowered spring though. So now normally you would have lowering control arms and stuff, but let's see, lowered front. Okay, here we go. Okay, I got one of those. Now I don't see that though. So we're just going to go with it as is and call it a day. Is this a front one now? Yep, there we go. Put this in this side. All right, so that's in. I pulled everything apart so I could figure out what I was doing wrong. All right, so that can go in there. All right, you have to be holding it to compress the spring to get it in. Got it. Because before you had to actually, like, okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. So that's buttoned in. I wonder if I can get the shock absorber in there now, um, which would be actually impossible, really. But we'll give it a shot here. Let's see. Okay, there it It's in. I should have put it in before, but I have not. All right, so let's see here. Uh, there we go. So the rear, I can't even see it. All right, let's put the other shock absorber in. This is awkward because you would never do this like this. Okay. All right, there's an order to these things, and I'm breaking it. All right, let's see here. Where are we? Oh, here we go. That's tightened up. All right, so we got that on. Let's get our, our hubs on. All right, put this on here. There we go. And we'll put the other carrier on. All right. There we go. And this should be wrenched in, right? Okay, there we go. Let me see. There and there. Uh, is that good? Yeah, we're good there. We're also going to need a new steering rack, if I remember correctly. So we're going to have to get that. Why are you got to be... Okay, there we go. That's fine. All right, so here we go. So we're going to go lower this down. Well, wait a minute. Where's my wrench? Did I, where did I set my wrench down at? Ah, here we go. So we're going to set this down here, and then we're going to tighten up the upper shock. And then we're going to order a steering rack. I like how everything shows up right away, too. I like that. Okay, you can tighten up, and then you can tighten up. Bam. Oh, no, we got a steering rack. We're fine. Never mind. I thought we had to get a steering rack, but we're good there. Oh, I had it. Where is it? There it is. Tie rod, and we'll do the other tie rod. Then we'll tighten that down. All right, here we go. This is going way better than anyone has. Oh, has the right to go. Now, see, this is when I screw up when I say things like that. Bam. All right, so let's see. Where is my? There it is. Now, the tie rod will need to be tightened at the top there. So, let's bring this down a little bit. Okay, so I can see over the top of it. Tie rod down. And then tie rod down. And then I got to get... That tightened and that tightened. All right, so that's that in there. So let's see. This is this is nice. This is this is very nice. Um now let me just check the book here. We need we need front uh hubs. There's the hubs there. Uh, okay, let's see. Whoa, okay, let's see. Let's buy a couple of these. Now we'll put this in here like this, and then we'll put this in there like that. Bam. Okay, and where's my wrench? 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 
Oh, wait a minute. There it is. I keep dropping it on this table. All right. So it's storming outside again. There we go. That's down and that's down. Now all we should need is brakes and brake calipers. I just like ordering the new parts. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so that's everything we need for the front end, I'm pretty sure, at the moment. Unless I'm missing something, but it's a video game, so if I do, it's like no one's life is in... <laughs> no one's life is in jeopardy. So we'll buy a new caliper. Uh, we'll buy a new disc. I'm assuming it has pads. Oh, no, here we go. Brake pads front. All right, excellent. Oh, this comes with all the brake pads. I didn't need to order two. Okay, that's fun. Okay, so there's that brake pad in there. Now let's... Uh, okay, it's a whole set of pads. I get it now. All right, so... This needs a screwdriver to attach. That. Right. And that's all that takes, right? That's all that is? All right, there we go. All right, so then... I didn't realize this came in sets of four. I thought it was just like one set per, you know what I mean? That's okay, though. All right, here we go. Is there anything that holds those pads on, like a retaining clip or something? Nah, we're good. Let's just uh, jam that up on there. There we go. Let's take a take a peek in behind it here. Ooh. I can't remember what holds this on. Let's just take a look here and squeeze in. Bolt, bolt. All right, no problem. Um, there we go. Mine are all Allen keys. Ugh. Or no, Torx. Is it Torx? Are they Torx? Yes, they're Torx heads. Okay, there we go. So we got that disc on there. And then, I'm going to put this on the other side. And then I think we should probably run the brake lines. Oh, shit. I should have put the disc on first. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, hang on. Can I put the disc on after all this here? Hang on a second. Here we go. Okay, let's pull this off here. All right. The disc on. All right. Disc on. Tighten it down. Where's the screwdriver? Oh, shit. I'm just dropping tools again everywhere. Here we are. I drop it where the tools are, you know? Like, if I go to get a part... Or, sorry, I drop where the parts are. So, if I go to get a part, I usually leave it there. See, and this time, since I don't need to use it again, it stays on the ground. All right. And then the wrench. I know where the wrench is. Oh, there it is. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Oh, car work by scapegoat. It's random and it doesn't make sense. Okay. We just got to squeeze in here and then we got to get this and this. That's that. So let's get a new brake line for the front. Um, Just while we're here, brake line. Oh, it's all it says is brake line. Main brake line. Let's buy two of these. And the main brake line. All right, let's try that. Whoa, that goes everywhere. Okay, it's everything. All right, let's try to tighten that down some. All right, so the main brake line is in, but we're going to have to do a line from each. Do we not? Or is it? Oh, God, I just pushed the car off the thing. <laughs> okay, it needs to go up further. All right, okay, we okay? We're still on the, we're still on the hoist, bud? All right, let's see here. Okay, just got to get up. Okay, is this? Okay, that needs to attach. Okay, it's running along the inside of the trans tunnel, and then it comes up over here to the master cylinder and all that. It doesn't seem like anything holds it down. Or is that just... Am I not noticing? I'm assuming we use the flex line elsewhere. Oh, I hope this is steel braided stuff. I don't want to use this rubber. Rubber expands, eh? All right. Okay, let's try that. Um, and hopefully this will hold it on so it doesn't go anywhere. There's that, and then that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right, we'll do that. Take this one in, put it up over here. I keep seeing it, and that disappears on me. There it goes. All right. Where's my wrench? Grab this, and we'll tighten that down. Now, maybe that's a screwdriver that holds in all that stuff. I don't know. Let's see here. I forgot now. There we go. So the brake lines are tightened down. I just feel like... This should be, maybe just like I said, maybe just gets held in by the, the parts there. Okay, so the brake lines are in. We got extra brake brakes if we, or um, pads if we need them. So then, I think really, 
We can just throw, throw those tires on here. Unless there's better tires. Let's go check. Maybe there's different wheels or something. Let me see. Um, <laughs> Where do I get tires from? Hang on a sec. Maybe it's across the road at the stow. Hang on a sec. Let's see. No, it's not here. It's not here. All right. Well, there's only one other place to go, and that's the junkyard. You know what? Actually, let's see here. Uh, let's take taxi to junkyard. Okay, let's just, oh, loading. Okay, here we go. Um, I got a tire here. But what I really need is wheels. So I'm not sure where to get wheels from other than ripping them out of the junkyard. Um... Because I got these two wheels. This is a 14-inch rim, but where do we get? Let me check the map. Maybe there's something else on the map here. Let's see. Item store, workshop, junkyard. I wonder if they got something over there. I can possibly have the used car place. Let's go. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, this is a trailer store. Wait a minute. Now, we've never been to the trailer store, so let's go pop over and see if they have something. for. I know it's weird, but... Oh, here we go. I see tires. I see tires. I see France. I see ugly underpants. Okay. Oh, there's so many beautiful things here. Oh, my God. What's this? A 16-inch rim. We have these fan-style ones. I like these five-spoke ones. Oh, my goodness. What's back here? Oh, crates. Okay. All right. Here we go. So, I'm going to buy... It's 15... Okay, so we're going to buy four of those so where do they go? oh they're all over the place all right so we have to bring these back one at a time now we're also going to need 16 inch rubber tire look at these treads on these things oh my god what do we got going on here it's a 69 dollar tire 59 okay here we go these are this all right so oh they can get them in like white walls and not white walls low profile or not okay what do we got here then Meaty tires or low-profile tires? Well, we're going to buy four of these. Now, the problem is I probably should have got a trailer um, to move these around because now i got to run back and forth eight times, which is lame. Uh, but that's okay. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Um, I... Uh, <laughs> This is going to take a little while. I'll get back to you when I get everything brought over here. All right? I don't want to have to make you watch me run back and forth. I'll just go do this. Hang on. I'll be back. Okay. We brought them all back. Now we got to mount tires um, on these rims I purchased. These five-spoke lovely rims. All right. So I think you put them on this machine like this. And then you grab this tire. And we put it on that. And we'll see if we can mount the tire on that rim. Oh. There we go. And then, uh, whoa, went wrong way. Oh, I got it. Look at this. Nice. Okay. I got, it took me a little while to figure that out. I got to hit the pedals, I think. Okay. So we're going to get another one of these. Put this on there like this. And then we'll get another one and we'll put that tire on there. Should mount all the tires. Okay. Put this on there like this. And then I went down here and I went like this. There we go. Okay. This is going well. This is, you know, I'm going to mount all the tires while I'm here because we're going to need them eventually anyway. All right. This is going, this episode's going so well. Like things are working out. If he destroys the save games again, I'm going to lose my shit. All right. Here we go. Okay. Let's, uh, let's mount. Whoa. <laughs> is it going to rub? Oh, it's rubbing, baby. It's rubbing already. Um, is this even going to work? <laughs> I think I got too big of wheels. Oh, no. And, and you know what the worst part is? The suspension isn't even pre... The suspension isn't even loaded up yet. Oh, this is... Okay. Dude, pick up the fucking tire. Jesus Christ. Pick it up. Jesus. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. Just put this on there like this. This is hilarious. This is not... I, I should have done some measuring, guys. I should have... Can I, can I roll the rim? Although it doesn't look terrible. Um, a little big, maybe. Like, could you imagine if I got the fat meats on here? 
this is great. Um, I think I may need a shorter controller. A controller. <laughs> All right, so front suspension done and dusted. So now we got to build. Okay, what are we going to need? We need a, let me see here. Where is it now? Uh, no, is it, is it, it's not under body, is it? Accessories? Is it under accessories? No. Where is it? Oh, there it is. We need a new, oh, here's a lock differential. I'm going to buy that. That one is expensive. All right, but at least I have the drive shafts. Anyway, where's my, where's my rear end? Where is it? Oh, there it is. All right, here we go. So we're going to put this ooh, ooh, okay, in here like this. I don't think we got to put gear oil in it, so I think we're okay there, but all righty. Oh, nope, didn't work. All right, come here. There we go. All right, put this, nail that down here. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. Sure beats one of them Chevy uh, rear ends. It's going to be a Ford 9-inch any day for any application. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, you don't have to like Ford stuff or Chev stuff. I'm just saying Ford 9-inch is legendary. So I, only, I thought I had both axles were good, and I thought I saved one. Did I accidentally get rid of one when the, the thing was being strange? Okay, there, that can go in there for a minute, but I need... Am I just not seeing it? Because I'm pretty sure I had both, but maybe I, maybe I don't. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I lost one. All right, let's see. Okay, rear hub. Hub rear. Here we go. Let's buy that. That'll solve us uh, one problem, I guess. All right, let's put this in here like this. Bam! Get the little wrench wrench out. Okay, here we go. Can I see the other one at least? Okay, let me see. Oh, there we go. Bam, and then... Bam, bam, bam. And Bam Margera. All right, excellent. Okay, so that's in there. So I'm going to have to do rear brakes, I guess. Okay, let me see. Well, actually, you know what? I can mount. You know what I should do, actually, is before I do anything with the brakes, I should get this, this mounted, I guess. Uh, so we're going to need all the control bits and whatnot for the rear suspension, upper and lower control arms, and yada, yada, yada. So we'll get these one at a time and install. Where's the short one? There it is. Upper control arm. Got it. Okay. I don't know if I bought three of them or is it just being weird? All right, here we go. We'll put the upper control arm in. Whoa, dude. Relax. The yeah, it's not obvious. <laughs> it is not obvious. All right, here we go. Going to put that on. That's nice and locked down now. Okay. Let's see here. All right. Okay. We need a control arm upper. We got that. All right. So let's buy this. See how it mounts first because I don't remember exactly. Dude, come here. Oh, I had it. I had it. There we go. Oh, stop. Okay, here we go. Here we go. There we go. I wonder if it's enough to get the axle in. Because that would be sweet. All right, here we go. Put this down here. All right. So that one's in. So let's see if I can mount the axle onto just this bit here. And then I can get... There we go. Okay, so this is going to mount at least until I can get the other one in. All right, here we go. You are locked down there and locked down there. We good here? I think we're good here. Okay. And then we can do the other two. Okay, there we go. All right, so. All right, there's a fly flying by. That's great. All right, here we go. There we go. That's on. Just gotta, just gotta tighten them down a little bit. Got that one in. That. Torque at the spec. Perfect. Okay. Now a couple of now I end up buying one rear lowering spring. Oh yeah, I need the I need to be holding the 
spring compressor. Where is it? There it is. So then I'm going to grab this. I think this is the rear lowering spring, right? Yeah. So we need to get another rear lowering spring uh, ordered because I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right. Spring rear lowered. Right? Yes. I may have to buy... I may have to buy the lifted springs. If this is too low and won't roll, I may have to buy the lifted springs just to fit it. <sighs> because those wheels are not looking friendly there. Okay, there we go. That's in. And then we need rear shock absorbers. Oh, dude, pick pick it up, dude. Oh, there we go. All right, here we go. Just Everything's fine. Everything is awesome. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, got it. And... Where's the other side? Got it. All right. Where's my wrench? Wrench. Wrench. Okay. I'm going to do it at the bottom of this. Oh, I can't do it from this side. I have to go over this side here. Okay. There we go. This is... Where, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. This one is on this. There we go. Put that on. Lower it down to the top mounts for the shock absorbers. Okay. Let's put this down a little bit. I think I'm going to have to go with raised springs to make that fit. I, I really do. I, I'm not sure uh, this is going to work out for us. Tighten down. All right, here. Let's put this on this little shelf right here. Nice. Okay, so now we got to do rear brakes. Now, are the rear brakes on this disc? I think they're discs on this, right? So brakes, 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 front copper, okay. Oh, it is good, right, left, right, rear. So buy this, buy this. One set of brake pads for the rear. Two discs. And I'm assuming a brake line for each side. All right, so let's uh, mount this. Bam, and we'll mount the other one. We'll grab the screwdriver, tighten those down. I like it. It's the exact same setup on the rear as the front, just a little smaller brake. Bam. Just for the record, 80% of your braking power is done by your front wheels. That's why they're always bigger. Uh, and if you're going to if you're gonna have a wheel not lock up, it's probably better to have the rear not lock up than the front. Did that, just, did that go down? Did that make a sound? Got it. Okay, here we go. Got it. Okay, so which one is which here? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. Okay. I think these are the old ones, so we're going to leave those over there. Because I, I can't tell which is the the front and rear brake pads. All right. Oh, there we go. You guys can go in there. Oops. There, and then and you can go there. And you can go there. All right. Oh, which one's this one? Uh, Left. All right. Let's go over here, mount this up. Perfect. And then we'll mount the other one, and then we'll tighten those down, put the brake lines on, install the brake master cylinder when we get it lowered back down. All right, see here now. Where to put wrench? Oh, yeah, on the shelf. <laughs> Just all over the place. All right, so I hope you guys are having a good day, though. Um, I think I'm going to have to bring this up a little bit so I can... Get underneath it easier. All right, let's see here. Yeah, I hope your day's going great. You know, I always want everybody to have a really great day. And I love the fact you guys are here watching this. This is probably a long video. I'm not sure yet uh, how long it is at this point. Um, but I know I've been recording for over an hour. So I don't know where we're at. Oh, here we go. I saw it. Bam. Oh, no, no. Don't throw my, don't throw my brake lines. Yeah, I've recorded for over an hour. Sometimes these videos get a little bit extended. That can go there because of the fact that I'm doing so much in one video. So sometimes you end up with like a 40-minute video when it should be probably. I should learn to edit better so I can edit it down to, there we go, to a, an appropriate length of time for a video for like 20 minutes like you know, all the all the YouTube guys do. But I get wrapped up in what I'm doing and I'm enjoying myself and then... All this. All right, so there we go. That's brakes done and dusted. And now I'm going to pick up this and uh, put this here like this and then mount the other side. 
Now, now, it looks like the suspension tucked itself up when I installed it. So I guess I'm hoping it'll lower itself. Like I, think, I hope it's just a game glitch, and it'll give me more room when I drop it. Now, technically, it should sink on the suspension, but it looks like the suspension has sucked itself up a bit. All right. So let's, uh, let's slow her down and uh, see what happens. All right, let's go down here. Down we go. Down we go. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> I don't think having your wheels sticking through your wheel wells is, is a great design. Um, now, we can probably fix that by putting lifted springs in it. But for now, it's going to have to do as I put this brake master. In. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Lean in. All right. Here we go. Oh, I had it. I had it. Where'd it go? There it is. Bam. Whoa. Okay. Here we go. What's this? Attach that in. Oh, that's fine. That in, that should be the brake master cylinder. That should be that. Apparently it already attaches at this point point all right so the brake mass I, I don't think it's gonna roll i think it's pretty uh pretty uh not okay right now um what well, sort of rolls <laughs> all right let's back it up a little welder you need this back bud put that there move this welder out of the way oh there's the other axle i knew it was right here somewhere <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, oh, no, okay. Okay, I got to move this over here like this and then push. Well, okay, now we're stuck. Help! I'm stuck in the car. No, let me out. Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, the only way out of this I know is to go to the junkyard and then take a taxi to the garage. All right, okay, there we go. All right. Now these are in the way for sure. Now I think I'm gonna have to put raised springs on it to raise to use these tires. I really believe this. Oh no, I did it again! What the heck? All right. Um, I think it's rubbing. I don't think it's rolling at all. Oh my god! I. It sort of rolls. Uh. Okay, th this is this is a problem. <laughs> okay. Like, I don't think this is okay. Like, look at this. So you may have to buy the uh, the better springs um, or the lifted springs just to clear. But for now, <laughs> I think I'm going to leave this episode here. <laughs> Why do I get myself involved in stupid projects? Okay. Okay. Okay, just... There we go. Look, it's even shoving right through the wheel well. This is lovely. Okay, here we go. Can I just... But, okay, here we go. We'll put the back near the hoist so the next time we come in, uh, we don't... Because we're going to need the hoist again. Like, there's no getting around that. But uh, I don't know if... Like, it does roll, as you can see. Uh, sort of. Perfect. Okay, let's see. We're not obviously centered but that's one that's fine okay lift it up here uh, let's see so please comment below if you think i should move to the lifted springs so it's not rubbing in my wheel wells like this uh i do like the look of the tires though i like it five spoke tires always look good can't have those even spokes i don't like it so i'm gonna leave this episode here started right so thank you so much for watching if you like this please leave a comment maybe subscribe i'm really enjoying this game but that's the suspension on i just think that maybe we need uh, a taller spring so maybe we'll experiment with that. But either way, you know me. Love every view I get. Scapegoat! <laughs> I got a toilet. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. Hang on one second. Ah. Toilet, get out of the way. Out.